Where are we? <laughs> We're in the ugly kitchen. We are making a cottage pie today. I know a lot of people refer to it as shepherd's pie, but I believe, and I could be wrong, shepherd's pie is called shepherd's pie because shepherds would make it with sheep, lamb. But I'm just using ground beef. So technically it's called cottage pie. Anyway, today I'm making this because I didn't know what to make for dinner tonight. I had some ground beef and a few vegetables in the fridge, so I'm just MacGyvering. I'm going to brown about a pound of, maybe it's about a pound and a half of um, just lean ground beef and about two tablespoons of uh, oil, whatever you have, vegetable oil, olive oil, canola oil. And we're going to brown this until it's kind of crispy. There's a lot of meat in that little package, huh? Yep. We're going to cook this for about eight to ten minutes until it's brown and crispy and all the liquid has evaporated. So that's going to take a few minutes here. And so it's almost done. All the liquid has burned off and we're just going to wait for, I'm just going to leave it and let the meat fry up a little bit in its own fat. Doesn't that sound yummy? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear that the meat is actually frying up now as opposed to liquid burning off. Impatient me, I think that's good enough. I'm going to scoop it out. Right, using the same pan, not cleaning or anything. You know what, if you have excess fat in there, drain it out. Um, otherwise, add a couple of tablespoons of butter. I have one ta or one onion chopped and one very large carrot chopped. So it's been about five to seven minutes and we just want it to be softened, a little bit browned. And then we're going to add the tomato paste. Have about a keeping tablespoon. Maybe even two. Okay, then add a couple of tablespoons of flour. I'm going to cook that for about a minute. Some beef broth. I don't think I'll use the whole thing, so I'll let you know at the end how much I actually use. We're going to deglaze the pan, scraping off all the bits at the bottom. So I've used about, I'm going to use about two and a half cups. Okay, we're going to add the beef back in. You're right, I don't know if my potatoes are going to fit in here. I don't think so. We'll see. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it on a pan in the oven so it doesn't like... Even if it overflows, it'll overflow into a pan. Well, aren't you smart? Yes, I am. I'm going to turn this off. forgot to turn off. Okay, I'm putting in about a cup and a half of corn. Now really, is not, nothing's going to fit in here. I'm going to have to transfer it. There's no chance. With the potatoes? All right, fine. I'll transfer it into a bigger pan. But anyways, I, let me finish this part first. And then I'll transfer it. Salt, don't forget to salt, and pepper, about a teaspoon of thyme, a couple bay leaves in here. I have two small bay leaves, you can use one big one. All right, I'm going to transfer it into a bigger pan. Don't be like me. 
All right, I'll put half of it in here. The other half can stay in the skillet. Is that about half? I don't know. You better split up the bay leaves too. I did. There's already one in here. See, I'm one in just here. wondering. And one in here. See? Show me oh the goodness, proof. You make me find it in the middle of this. There. Okay, thanks. You know, you laugh at my knife skills, but look, check it. I can cut pretty thinly and still keep all my fingers. All right, melting butter in a small sauce. You guys are probably wondering what I'm doing, why my potatoes are sliced instead of mashed. I, we had um, scalloped potatoes at a friend's house the other night and they were so delicious. And I thought, you know what? That would be amazing on shepherd's pie. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to put scalloped potatoes on the shepherd slash cottage pie. Apologies to the audience in advance. It's been hard to uh, focus on Flo's face here in the kitchen. I'm trying. It's, just, it's the lighting in this kitchen is terrible. Yeah. I think we should do a GoFundMe for a... A new kitchen? A new kitchen. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to need that extra potato after all. Oh, thanks to everyone who's uh, answered the question about what kind of ramen broth Flo should uh, do for an upcoming recipe. I think uh, miso is coming up on top. That's my favorite. So I melted two tablespoons of butter. I'm adding about two tablespoons of flour. And I cook that for about a minute. You're making a roux, basically. Okay, then I'm adding a cup of milk. Basically, you're just making a cream sauce here. I'm gonna heat that through. Okay, so the sauce is all creamy, and we're gonna add about a cup of cheddar into the sauce. And what kind of cheddar did you off, use? Turning off the stove. Um, white cheddar. So this sauce you can also use to make like mac and cheese. Delicious. So you have one layer of potato and we're just going to use one scoop of sauce. Each side. Then we're going to add another layer of potato on top. Okay. Suppose if you want it extra cheesy or extra sauce, you can always make more. I just made, well, I don't even know how much. You can double the recipe if you want. You can smooth it out a little bit. You know, and as it cooks, it's just going to seep into all the potatoes. Okay, so you have your remaining cheese and that's gonna go on top. And I forgot to salt and pepper the potatoes. Do that on top, better than nothing. All right, now they're going into the oven for about an hour. See you in an hour. All right, they've been cooking for about an hour at 350. Good thing I split them up, huh? Uh, you think? <laughs> Ta da! Looks pretty yummy. I haven't made shepherd's pie in a long time, so I'm really looking forward to this, or cottage pie, as I should probably refer to it as. But you know what? Before I forget, you can use whatever ground meat you want um, in this dish and I think it will taste great, whatever you like. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe to my channel if you don't already, to be notified of new videos, to find me on my new Facebook page, Flo Lum, and follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Oh my goodness, we were so hungry, we forgot to show you what it looked like on the inside. So you 
might have thought that it was going to be really soupy, but it's not. All the gravy soaking in to the meat, the vegetables, with potatoes right on top. Really tender and delicious. Thanks so much. No, that's not what I say. Thanks for watching.